Right, so today we're gonna be cutting up some mangoes to dehydrate them. It's my wife's favorite snack, and it's Mother's Day. So here we go. This is how. I'm just gonna take the mango. Up in the morning. Try and cut it. Boom. Yeah. 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 Directly yeah. around the center. Yeah. Boom. Nice. You're gonna get yeah. three halves. This is how we wake up in the morning. Boom. Now I'm new to this, yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Boom. You can always get better. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. This is how we wake up in the morning. Boom, yeah, 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 boom, yeah, boom, yeah, boom, yeah, boom. This is how we wake up in the morning. Boom, yeah. Another thing, guys, when you have your mango seeds, if you are resourceful, you're gonna want to use them. Uh, don't throw these bad boys away. These are good. Uh, you can dry them out in a dehydrator or leave them in the sun. Once they become dry, you can chop them up and then throw them in a grinder and make powder. Now that powder is going to contain vitamin A, which is good on the skin. You can add an oil, any type of base, any type of seed oil, jojoba, jojoba, um, apricot, jojoba. Um, vitamin E oil. Anything will work good. It'll help with your lines, wrinkles, sun damage, skin damage, scarring. And you can also use that seed powder to brush your teeth. Um, you could also just add it to a smoothie for extra vitamins, omega 9s, oleic acid, stearic acid. It's really good. So let's be resourceful and get the most out of our mango seeds. Don't throw them away. Or at least. Try and give them to someone who knows how to make them, especially if you're buying a lot. If you can, enjoy. God bless. So here's the mangoes. They're dehydrating. Got four different layers. Did five mangoes. Another key thing to keep track of using is the mango peel. Now the mango peel can be dehydrated into chips. You can dip it in dip. Just make sure the mangoes you're getting are safe to eat. I mean, they're not being sprayed with pesticides because the peels can maintain those toxins. But if you know they're grown uh, organically in faith, then you're good because the skin contains vitamin A. Great for the eyes, vitamin C. Good for the immune system. Antioxidants. And they contain a lot of fiber, which is good for good bowel movements. And... Yeah, you want that. Uh, it has phytonutrients, um, even in the flesh, but mostly in the skin, there is magnafarin, uh, which is capable of easing inflammation. Now, some people will say, is it worth the magnafarin, which um, also can protect against insects, fungi, and other annoyances that are in that peel? Is it worth it? Um, because there's a chance of getting some urushol, which is similar to an ivy and oak plant. Some people are allergic to it. Well, I say this, take the peel, rub it on your skin. If you have an allergic reaction, then obviously don't eat the peel. Otherwise, your body can't handle a small amount of urushol, just like your body can handle a small amount of cyanide, which is in the apple seed, which is how you get your B7 vitamins. Obviously, don't go and eat a pound of it. You're not going to eat a pound of mango skins either. You're probably going to have a few here and there. Throw them in a smoothie, um, eat them with the mango, uh, throw them in a dehydrator, dip them with a chip, and enjoy. That's how to use the mango in full.